Evie, you have no idea. We're about to go play. We're gonna go hiking. We're gonna go for a walk. Did you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna meet more Borzoi? Are you excited? She says, I don't believe you. You don't have your shoes on. You don't have the leash in your hand. You have no idea what's gonna happen right now. It's gonna be exciting. We're gonna see new friends. Evie, do you wanna go play? Do you wanna go for a walk? Are you ready? Are you ready to play? Oh, she doesn't believe me. <laughs> We're gonna go. We're gonna meet some new friends. We're gonna meet some new friends. <laughs> what do you think? We're gonna go hike. So it's pretty much downhill from here. <laughs> it's all pretty flat, which is nice. Get the hard part out of the way pretty early on. Let's go, Evie. feet on that. I'm glad the sun come, came out. I was a little worried because it just said wind today. We really want a homestead. Oh, that would be so fun. Mm -hmm. And then we already have the chickens and we want to get into dairy goats and maybe some meat piggies. Biggest concern is, like yeah. <laughs> yes, finding jobs. I know here is kind of the same way, honestly. What do you do? Well, right now I'm working. 
like in um, Alabama, the weather. Now these, unbelievably, are really ant mounds. Yeah, all of these. But they're dormant right now, but the ants are like an inch long. <laughs> they're not too bad. They're pretty friendly unless you step near one and then they'll bite you. And their bites hurt really bad. <laughs> but they're not too bad. But usually in the desert, if you find a spot that's just bare, mm -hmm. without any grass, it's probably an ant mound. bikes hanging from a tree over here. Just pretty cool. There's a ton. I mean, mostly like snakes and lizards, which are also probably dormant right now. And then rabbits and a lot of hawks and owls. We do have coyotes and mountain lions and black bears out here too, which I don't know where the black bears stay. <laughs> if you'd think they would stick out like a sore thumb. But we did have a black bear come into town this past summer. Yeah, I think it was so dry that it was looking for water. Yeah, but all of these mountains are either volcano based or so very rocky all of our mountains and I'm from Virginia so I'm not used to how dry it is so I'm like constantly having to put on lotion So y'all have more soil, huh? <laughs> Definitely. It is hard to grow. I have a, a garden and I'm trying to grow as much food as we can and it has been, let's go this way, it has been a little difficult. <laughs> 
we do get rain, it's usually accompanied with hail. What do you think? Are you going to go smell him? I know. I guess it's art. I know right next door Marfa is very artsy. It's surprising. We actually have a couple art festivals here every year. Yeah. yeah. People come from all over and they'll like basically shut down Main Street and it's like a little walking art display where every store hangs all of the art and Um, it's a, basically a spot, there's, I think, between here and Marfa, there's a little observatory kind of place where you can park and sit. And at night, a couple days a year, there's these mysterious lights that pop up on the horizon between Marfa and Presidio. And, and no one really knows what they are. So it's just kind of mysterious. What do you think? She's so pretty. You're okay. This is pretty cool. This little outcrop. It's crazy how isolated we are. That the next town is like 70 miles north with a Walmart. <laughs> And this week, even our grocery stores closed with the weather. So it was just like, the only place to go would be like the gas station, basically. Come on, let's go. So if we go back up, it'll take us the same trail that we came on. If we go down, it'll take us basically that snaking route down. So whichever you prefer. These sotols are no joke. I was climbing a boulder one time, fell off of it and landed in one of those cactus oh was the worst. I wonder, is this the way? Maybe we should go the other way. I'm like, I think this way, this way is doable, but I'm pretty sure we would have to cross this barbed wire fence. I'm sorry. Come on. You got your leash stuck. There you go. This way. This is the way. <laughs> round two. Or is it round three? So we have like seven different kinds of rattlesnakes out here. Really? Yeah, they're all pretty cool. Really um, not this time of year. I don't think you would expect them until the warmer weather. Oh yeah. Definitely.
We actually had one a while back. It was hibernating for the winter in our storage room. And so we moved something and there he was just, and our storage room is in the middle of the store. So he would have had to go through the whole store to get in there. So I'm surprised like he made it without anyone seeing him. <laughs> I know. So we put him in a bucket and moved him outside to the desert. Oh my goodness. Are you staying on third? We're gonna keep hiking? Can you come down? Good girl. Come on. Oh, sorry. I moved your head up. I didn't realize it. <laughs> he just waits. He's like, you'll figure it out. I'm sitting there right now. His elbow just just a different route. I don't know if you trust me because I keep getting us lost. <laughs> steep drop. There are some beautiful hikes up in Fort Davis. Um, there's one, I think it's the just the Fort Davis State Park, and they have a, a day trail where it probably would take maybe three hours to hike it. And it goes through some pretty steep hills and there's lots of areas to stop and take pictures. We have a cool prickly pear out here that's purple colored, and they only have them out here in western Texas. They don't... Yeah, there's a bunch of those. Yeah. yeah I'm saying, I was wondering if they were kind of what they Yeah, they're pretty much just out here in western Texas, as far as I know. Unless someone picked them off and started growing them somewhere else. I took a whole bunch of pictures of them. have this type of cactus or it might be a succulent but it's super endangered and I think we're gonna go up this way and it only grows out here in like this one cluster it's super endangered and it blooms at night like one day a year and my sister was studying them when she was trying to get her masters so she would be sitting out camping in the woods just like waiting for that one day for them to bloom to try to see what pollinates it
I forget what it's called, but it's a Mexican like brown tarantula. And we have a ton of them out here. Usually before it rains, you'll see them crossing the road. They might be hibernating too. We're just staying out of the weather. But almost every time I hike this, there's some on the trail. And we'll fill up. We also have a ton of giant millipedes. And I know when we went horseback riding, there were thousands of them all over the place. And that's that trail. So we just made it back home. I'm so happy that we were finally able to meet more Borzoi, which was just really nice. And Melanie and her dogs, they had the best personalities. Her dogs were so sweet, very welcoming and friendly. And they were just, it was so neat to get to see how similar and how yet different they all were from each other. So that was really fun. We had a great hike in total. It was about two hours up and down the mountain and it was, really windy. You guys are going to hear in the footage. It is so windy and I do apologize for that. Um, but at least it was nice and warm tonight and into tomorrow we are expecting more snow. So today was really the best day to make that hike happen. It's really sunny outside. There's a couple clouds here and there, but overall the only thing that was going against us today was the wind. I think it was about 45 to 50 degrees that whole hike. So it was just, it was a beautiful winter hike for us to go on. I think Evie's ready for a nap. Look at her. <laughs> you ready to go inside? What are you thinking Evie? She doesn't admit it but I know she had a good time. Well thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see